And he's got the gun that has a bullet in it. Ooh. Maybe. Kablammy. Maybe. What's up? Uh, Dr. Robbins. Ryan. Ryan. Ashley, you are here too. Yeah, you see me. Ryan, just just take it easy. Rex is fine. I see. He was more worried about you than his own injury. Worried? About me? Yes, he forgives you for the attack, the experiment working with Sophia, everything. He was just worried about you. I don't need him to be worried about me. But more importantly, Dr. Robbins, do you have your memories back? Yes, I do. Yep, sure do. I use the toss. I see. Use the toss or sword the 17 years of memories I erased. Very impressive. That's right. Yeah, Dad got his memories back thanks to Mom's invention. I see. I had expected as much. The work that so many scientists spent so many years to complete was all undone by one scientist who died over a decade ago. Doesn't make everything seem so pointless. Pointless? Hmm. Yes. You, I, and Rex were brought to MJ Labs. Sorry, JC Penny. By Joe. All of us were trained by him. We began our memory research under him, trying to get the results that he sought. We're still trying to get them, even now. But all of our research is confined by that security system laid down by Judd and Sayoko. I couldn't figure out the letter. So even now, no matter how hard we work, those restrictions kept us from our results. You're wrong, Ryan. Judd and Sayoko developed that system by considering the idea of memory control from every possible angle and how people would react to such a device. You can't think of that as a restriction. Really? I can't agree with that. Those who had no plans of ever passing on the leadership of memory research to anyone. Which is why they put restrictions on the system itself. Dr. Robbins, the woman you loved was cruel indeed. What did you say? Huh. She was Judd's most trusted confidant. The successor that everyone expected so much of. She was even tasked with the development of the primary system for the EC project. And yet, as soon as she married you, he turned her back on those expectations and his trust. Love ruined everything. She knew how important she was to the EC project, yet she just took off. And what's worse, she hid crucial information about the system. No, she didn't turn her back on anyone. She wanted to live as my mother, not as a scientist. And what do you base this theory on? When my mom made the TOS upgrade module, she recorded a message for me. She knew Ryan. She knew people wanted her as a scientist, and that if she didn't listen, her life might be in danger. In danger? She knew from the gate that beginning that she might be killed. Yes, Ryan. She thought that far ahead when she decided to hide the other thesis. She hid it because she knew people wanted to develop it and use it for the wrong reasons. And Bill was one of them. Bill Edward. The man who killed her. Ryan, how do you know that? I simply read it in your memory data when I extracted it. Don't lie, Ryan. Pardon? You knew that Bill had killed Sayoko right from the day I arrived here. The very first day I came, you said, Dr. Robbins, please tell me about the another you created on Blood Arrow Island. When I heard that, I was taken aback. I had told Rex about another and, and about Bill. I had never told him where another was created. So how did you know that I created it on Blood Arrow Island, Ryan? Ooh. Well, that's interesting. Answer me. Oh, he's mad. The other person responsible for Seiko's death. The one who had Bill kill her. Who was it? Was it Judd? Or was it... You. Dr. Robbins. Your theory is correct. The one who chased Seiko to her death was none other than... Dun dun dun! I knew me. it! Dante did it! <gasps> what? Yeah, So I knew it was it. you. What a sack of crap. I was happy and relieved when Sayoko left the EC project. I believed I was next in line to be Judd's successor. But the reality was quite different. Judd refused to give up on Sayoko and insisted on getting her back. I told him that I would complete another for him. But he told me I was the wrong person. When Bill heard that one, he told me, Ryan, you know why Judd doesn't want you to be his successor? It's because he's your father. And he doesn't want you to know that. So he won't name you as successor. So he already knew. He told you that? 
Indeed, he did. And everything he told me was absolutely true. Bill knew I had no memories of my childhood. He told me that Judd had fed me a formula that erased my memories. And the only ones who knew about it were Judd, Bill, and Sayoko. When he told me that, I laughed out loud. Ha ha ha! I laughed at myself. Hee hee! At my foolishness. Hoo hoo! Ho ho! My own father had used me as a test subject for his memory experiment. And without even knowing it, I had seen that man as a mentor and looked up to him. I have never mocked myself as much as I did on that day. But I managed to regain my cool and analyze the reasons why Bill had told me what he did. On the, other, on the one hand, he was one of the people who wanted to use another for his own purposes. Mm. On the other hand, there's two. He was someone that Judd trusted implicitly. I hypothesized that he was attempting to make me his partner and aid him. That was my theory, and when I confirmed it was true, I made my decision. I would pretend to ally myself with Bill, while at the same time taking my own brand of revenge against Judd Fitzgerald. My targets were his chosen successor, Sayoko, and his research results, all of his successes. I would take them away, one by one, as he did with my memories. I promised Bill I would help him get the another thesis that Sayoko had hidden. Thankfully you didn't get it. I didn't. I steadily worked on a way into his favor, a bore, and then began to put his ideas into his head. If Sayoko died, leaving the thesis behind, what with the man who loved her, and wrote that thesis with her due. And so, because I knew that Bill loved Sayoko, oh, it was easy to inflame mm. his jealousy toward you. And indeed, his mixed feelings of love ah, and hate er, er, for Sayoko. Brian, how could you do such a thing? Bill then went on and killed Sayoko, completely unaware that I was pulling the strings. <laughs> He became best friends with you and convinced you to develop another. I not even dared to hope that my plans would go so smoothly, but they did. Then I worked with Bill and began removing the things that Judd had held precious to him. The funding disaster that befell MJ Labs was, of course, orchestrated by me. And But when Judd suddenly died six years ago, my revenge was unexpectedly halted. Shame. And then Bill died on Blood Edward Island two years ago. Shame. Shame. Before I realized it, the only thing left for me was the shell of J.C. Valley, and the incomplete another that Judd had left behind. Dr. Robbins, I was the one who sent you that email to bring you here to J.C. Valley. Knew it. You're gonna slap him. Oh. Gun's empty. Don't come closer. Mother effort. <laughs> I suspected you'd sent it. I suspected you sent it. I suspected you suspected I sent it. <laughs> yes, indeed. Indeed. Ryan, why would you send him that? Why do you think? Don't you understand how I feel about all of this? Even after, uh, even after hearing my story? No. I don't understand you at all. And I don't want to. Why? Why did you have to kill Mom? Just for your revenge? Why did you have to make Bill kill her? If you hated Judd, why not just take revenge there and then? Why'd you have to take away my mom? Why were we were you so cruel that you had to kill mom? And when I met Bill on what I around two two years ago, I remember looking through the closet where mom had hid me. I remembered Bill's face as you shot mom. For me then, remembering that time was remembering things I'd forgotten was was horrible, and I didn't I didn't know how horrible it really was. Ryan, you were the one who told me, right? You told me bro dad brought me here to open the doorway to my memories. But you were wrong. The one who opened that doorway and brought me on that journey into my memories, it was my mom. She started- <laughs> It was my, my mom. My mom. She started on that journey. She told me and showed me just how much she loved me. But if she was still alive, if she hadn't been killed, then I'd never have to go through this journey. Ashley. Do you understand why I sent that email to Dr. Robbins? Also, I hate crying. No. I do hate crying. <laughs> I will shoot your tears. Pew pew. <laughs> this is what I had planned, Dr. Robbins. I will shoot them in air. Oh boy. Oh, he was trying Tell to kill Ashley empty. the whole time. First, I intended to convince you that everything I did was part of Judd's plan. And I would get you to cooperate with me in com uh, completing another. After that, I would sell it to the company that Bill had been dealing with. 
and thus my revenge on Jeff Fitzgerald would finally be complete. But you, but you didn't do it, Ryan. Why not? Because of you, Dr. Robbins. You trusted me from the very beginning, just like you did with Bill. How can you trust someone else so completely? Basic human nature, Ryan. I, I cannot, cannot accept that. Yeah. I cannot. Yeah. I didn't cannot. You ever... I cannot. <laughs> Inconceivable! Why didn't you ever doubt me? Oh, I had my doubts about you from the start. You did? Then why didn't you, why didn't you carry out your revenge on me? Why not avenge your dead wife? Ryan. Why? Error. I don't understand you at all. <laughs> you should be thirsting for revenge. A thirsty little puppy. Thirsty like me. Dr. Robbins, if I were to shoot Ashley here, right now, in front of you, what would you do? Would you take revenge? Would you go on without killing me in return? Stop. This don't. instant. Don't push me, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I will shove you off this cliff. I so am pointing at the ground because I'm so mad. Don't do it, Ryan. I'm not out for revenge. Back. Don't you understand, Ryan? Don't you understand the suffering of a man whose wife was taken away from him? Every night? Every single night I dream, dream of killing the man who did it. In my hands. I still remember the warmth of Sayoka's dying body, her blood flowing out. God. The sorrow and hatred I felt 13 years ago hasn't lessened one bit since then. I haven't gone a single day without feeling it. But I wouldn't let that sorrow turn into vengeance. And do you know why? Because Sayoko would never have wanted that to happen. When I found out Sayoko dying 13 years ago, when I held her as she took her last breaths, I asked her who had done it. She said he wanted another. And that she, and then she died before saying who it was. Do you know why she didn't say any more? Because Bill was her friend. That's why, Ryan. She shook her head gently, and a single tear fell from her eye. Which is why I... Didn't go out for revenge. Is this true, Dr. Robbins? If I were to lower this gun and give it to you, and then stand right in front of you as you held the gun, the man responsible for Sayoka's death just standing before you, would you still be able to keep your sorrow and hatred from turning into vengeance? It might even make your pain go away. Mmm. Curious question. Pause. Clunk. Clunk. Ladder. Dr. Robbins, I am the man who caused your wife's death. Oh, heck oh, yeah. Oh, John Action Wick! Pose. John hey, Wick! John Wick! He killed the dog and the wife. Let's go. <laughs> Ryan, I will never forgive you for what you've done. Dad, stop. Don't stop me, Ashley. Stop, Dad. Shooting it won't bring Mom back. It won't make your pain go away. Ashley. You're right. Gosh get off, dang get, it. Get on the bus. Gosh dang it, you're right. This time I'm taking the motorized one. Go. And then I started blasting. Then I started blasting. He's like, oh, he's like all of a sudden he's just like, yes it will. And then shoots him. Oh, dude. Dad. That would be the Zack Snyder ending. Yeah. That's the director's cut. It's four hours longer. Yeah. With Viking chanting. <laughs> so, I am not even worth shooting. Hmm. Oh, you are. Goodbye, Ashley. Is he gonna just jump off the cliff? I'll come back in another three. Damn, he's not gonna be in Rush Hour 3. Dad, he's gonna... Leap? Jump? Fall? Oh, oh I thought it was just gonna oh! be... Oh! Oh, finally cinematic. He caught him. Oh. Well, it's gonna be like a Lion King situation here. No! no. Oh my god. Goodbye, brother. Ryan. Ryan. Let go of Ryan, me. Ryan, Ryan. No. I won't let you die here. I won't let you run away. Only the weak take their own lives. You despise the weak, don't you? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Based Ryan? Based Ryan? <laughs> Base Dickard? Uh, I'll pull you down with me, therefore it's a killing. <laughs> yeah. Two for one special. Two for one. <laughs> suicide special. <laughs> uh 
Well, Dad, I know I've said this like six times. Dad, Dad, Dad. He'll have to spend. He'll have to spend. The, uh, hope to despise the week on down the Stateville prison. <laughs> mm, don't drop the soap. There we go. All right. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Are you okay, Dad? Dad. Dad. Ooh. Right by the death tree there. So I can't yeah. believe we're already halfway through this game. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. Dying won't change anything. It won't absolve you of your crimes or Sayoko's death. You have to live on and pay for your crimes. You have to figure out for yourself why Judd removed your memories. Why you removed the most important thing in the world to you. You have to understand the reasons and the suffering that lay behind them. Ryan, it's okay to cry now. You can stop holding it back. He's like, I hate crying. It's the worst. It's for babies, and I hate it. I'm not. Doing I hate it. it. I'm not doing it. I hate it. I am. I am not crying. No, don't look. Don't, don't look. look. That is not a tear. That is just. That is condensed sweat. It's condensed oil slick. It's oil. I am robot. <laughs> go go gadget oil slick. Go go gadget. Go go gadget toothpaste. After that, Dad Ryan and I got on the boat and went back to J.C. Penny. Dad took me to his office, laid out a makeshift bed, and told me to sleep for a while. I wanted to go to Mrs. Graham's house to pick up Matt. Dad told me not to worry and tucked me in. And then while I slept, Dad had a long talk with Ryan. And then I heard two gunshots. Just pop, kidding. pop. <laughs> Just kidding. When I woke up, Dad was there and he went back to the cottage. We didn't talk the whole way back. It was uncomfortable. But we didn't need to. We both understood. Mm -hmm. We both felt each other's pain about Mom and everything. I can write a really good song about Right? Is what she's thinking. <laughs> you turn this paint into I'm going to write a whole album about this. I know. I'll call it, uh, my dad shot a man and he kissed me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ashley! Ashley! Yas! What's up, daddy-o? <laughs> oh! Doing the power pose, dad, huh? Yas! <laughs> Yas, please. <laughs> That is ruining this. <laughs> I am so happy. You like my hibiscus flower? Are you uh, ready? Art thou ready, Mr. Krabs? Yes, I am. I'm sorry I can't go back with you. Oh my god. Don't worry about <laughs> it. I know how much you have to do here. I'll be fine by my own. I'm sure Jessica's dying for me to get back. I thought you said Jessica's dying. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wouldn't like, that be like a me? Oh god. Ryan went down where he killed her. <laughs> to be continued in Trace Memory 3. Yeah. Ashley, tell Jessica that I'll be. Oh, hey, that's. Ashley, I'll tell Jessica I'll be back next week. Definitely this time. You better. I mean, bet. What'll happen to Ryan? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, Ryan problem. promised me that he'd turn himself in for his crimes. He's on his way to the police now. Right. Ashley, he... Wait, Dad, I'm not ready to talk about it yet. So much has happened, I'm still recovering. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. So, what's gonna happen to JC Valley? There was an article in the paper this morning. It put the blame on JC Valley for the water pollution five years ago. I believe this things won't exactly be quiet at the lab for a good while. Rex said he was going to openly admit everything that the lab had done. Ooh, snap. He's thought long and hard and decided on everything that needs to be done from here on. Of course, I'll help in any way I can, but after that, I'm gonna be without a job. What do you want me to do? Dad? <laughs> Ashley, when I get home, we can sit down and talk. We can decide everything that we'll do from now on. Then we'll file for bankruptcy. Sounds perfect. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh! Whoa, phone call! This is Dr. Robbins. Oh, Bob! I'm sorry I asked you to do all out of the, uh, that out of nowhere this morning. Oh, you've already asked him? Yes. Oh, I see. And then... I see, I see. Thanks a lot, Bob. Oh, yeah. Bye! Bye! Good luck with your demographic! That was Bob on the phone? Yes. Yes, obviously. That's what I just said. Actually, I, I asked Bob to do something for me. What did you ask him? I asked him to get the full story about the man who fell from the clock tower five years ago. Apparently the guy who saw it was an old acquaintance of Bob's. Does that mean? Yes, Ashley. I want I want to know what happened to Matt's dad, too. And I asked Bob what he knew about it. Dad. This is what Bob heard. Five years ago, his friend was out by the clock tower. And he heard the loud splashing of something hitting the water. 
He didn't see a falling per a person, did he? Exactly, it was just a big splash. It seems that it spread like Chinese whispers, changing into something completely different. I'm sure that if it if the matter is looked into more thoroughly, the truth will come out. Thanks, Dad. I'm worried about your friend too, Ashley. Nah, it'll be fine. Matt will be fine. Matt is gonna be just fine. fine. Oh, the bus is coming soon. Right. Left. I'll take off then. I'll go with you to the bus stop. Aw, oh, thanks, Dad. Thank you. Yeah, you're the BS. All right, and door For some reason, I thought Matt was just going to be standing there. Oh, just there. standing there? Like, he what's up? He might be out by the bus stop. Who knows? Same with, like, that uh, blonde-haired girl and, like, the blonde-haired dude. There's a lot of blondes in this game. Yeah, Dad, you told Matt what time the bus was, right? I did indeed. He said the wild dogs wouldn't stop him from seeing you off. I'm sure he's waiting somewhere. All right. Left. Sweet. Ashley. Oh, no, huh? <laughs> Why do you say, oh no? Could be Matt. No. Could be your boy. Not. Dan. Dan. Dan the man. Yeah, Dan. Never mind, I'm so happy. Damn, Daniel. Morning, Dr. Robbins. Dirty Dan, what's good? Hey. Good morning, Dan. Dirty, dirty Dan. You're seeing Ashley off. Yes, I am. Dan, thanks for finding my bag. Me. Yeah. No problem, miss. I should be thanking you for finding Matthew. Matthew. Met you, met you, huh? I didn't find Matt. Okay. Dr. Robbins told me the whole dang story. About how you found him and you were looking after him. You don't need to worry about him no more. He'll be mighty fine. Just we fine. locked him in the He's getting shipped off to England. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> oh, it's okay. That's it's so okay, strange. I told Dan everything. He's going to take Matt back to his uncle's personally. That's, That's, right. Right. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. Dan is the best. Oh, Where's man. Matt now? He went, he went to look at uh, uh, the lake. Said he wanted to see it just one last time before he left. I'm sure I'm meet, uh, meeting him at the mermaid statue in a while, and then we'll head for his uncle's place. Dan, he's a good kid. He ran away to find his dad. Like I did. I know, actually. I figured out from talking to him how driven he was to find his pops. And his boobs. Why that boy phoned his uncle himself to apologize for making him worry so much. What a good kid. Mm. Okay. I also have a message from Mrs. Graham for you, miss. Really? She said you were you're welcome to visit her gardens anytime. <laughs> so I love how you said it really. Really? Really? I cheat really? that old bag. <laughs> Unbelievable. I hate her. <laughs> I can't believe you're friends with that old battle axe. Not oh, many people man. can say that. Hmm. Mm. Guess so. Guess so. Oh guess yeah. So, guess so, guess so. Oh, he has his own white box. He's got his own white void. When oh, I went over gosh. to Mrs. Graham's to pick up Matthew, I saw she had a visitor. Oh my god! Oh. Heck yeah! She wasn't expecting anyone, but from what I could tell, and you won't believe who it was, it was her daughter come back to see her after five years away from home. Said she was worried about her ma living out here all on her own. That's awesome. That's good. Dan, you totally honestly great in that white void. Can I, I just say? I feel yeah, better I know, knowing her daughter came out. back. <laughs> Looks like he's in like a Mac commercial. Yeah. Well, I'd like to stay in chat all day, but like calls. Squidward lost Back to patrol. Void. Who ya? Yeah. Goodbye, Dan. Thanks oh, for everything. Hello. All hello. Come and see us again, miss. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> Dang, oh, dirty. All right. I'm dirty. Dirty. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Left. Left. Uh, yeah. Left. Yeah. yeah. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Dan. Yeah. yeah. Matt. Yeah. yeah. Eh. Eh. <laughs> wow, we have mixed feelings on all these characters, I guess. Oh, there's the clock tower. Oh, no, it's walking in place. Alright. That's what we do. That's what we do, baby. Give me my bag. Get the bunny. No sign of Matt. I oh. guess we're just gonna have to leave without saying goodbye. I guess so. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, I thought you we were moving. I thought so too. Woof. Oh, it's Francis. Oh, yeah, he's gonna do it. You Woof. <laughs> That's... I'd recognize that wolf anywhere. Princess! So you came to see me off too, huh? Thanks for everything, Princess. Every Elizabeth was looking for you, do you see her? Wolf. <laughs> really? Great! That's good to hear. 
I'll be back, okay? I'll never forget how much you helped me find that, princess. Thanks so much. What? See you, princess. Ark. Sniff. <laughs> I'm gonna go find Matt, Dad. Alright. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. He's probably in that tree where you buried that thing. Yeah, buried. yeah, definitely. That's like an ending tree. Yeah. Not uh, like in that way, but yeah. Gunshot black screen. Fade oh, to fade credits. to black. Oh, hey, my favorite girl. Oh, sweet. Elizabeth. What are you doing here? Oh, a fine greeting that is Ashley Mizuki Robin. With one B. Especially for someone who has come to see you off. Really? Shaw, Daddy just got back from the hospital. I'm glad he's still alive. <laughs> he told me the whole story about Ryan, about Dr. Robbins, all about you. Elizabeth, your dad really Shut got, up. got shot. It's okay, Ashley. I told me everything. I kind of like him now. About the woman he was seeing, <laughs> the article in the paper, about the lab. I've heard him talk so much, too much. And he apologized for hiding Mom's letter. I kind of like him now. I kind of like him. I'm glad you made up, Elizabeth. I'm glad too, Ashley. Daddy said something to me. I'm going to change, Elizabeth. I have to. So if Daddy is going to change, then I'm going to try to change a bit too. I can't wait to see it. That's great to hear. Yeah, right. We'll see each other again, right, Elizabeth? Shot, no. Totally. Whatever. Matt too, I guess. He's all right. Huh? 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 Ash! Oh, look who it is. Matt. Hey, Ash! I'm sorry I left you alone, Matt. It's okay, Ash. Miss Graham let me sleep. At her place. At her place. When I woke up, your dad called and said he made up with you. Right. Right. Ash, I kept my promise. I'm gonna go back to my uncle's place. What a guy. Dan said that you called him yourself. So proud. Yeah. I said I was sorry for making him worry. I told him I found out about my dad. And he told me something awesome. <laughs> really? What? Someone saw a man fitting dad's description. Oh my god, really? <laughs> he found a missing person. The police called my uncle and told him. Oh man, that's great. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Ashley, when I was supposed to give up, you said, your dad's not dead, he's alive. I kept on believing it. I believe he was alive, Ashley. I'm sure you'll get to see him. Maybe. I don't know Let's, how I feel about this. <laughs> Let's make a promise, Ash. If I find my dad, I'll come back here so we can see each other again. You bet. You promise. Hey, I want to too. <laughs> I want in too. Oh my god, are they about to become friends? You bet. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Right. Time for me to take off now. See you again, Ash. Good luck with that. Smell you later. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Dr. Robbins. Of course. See ya. Ciao, Ashley. Ciao. I'm Italia. <laughs> a quarter Italia. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao, Bella. It means hello, beautiful. They say it in Texas. They say it in San Jose. <laughs> Bye. Keep waving. Bye. Bye. All right. You're the best. Bye. Right. Bye. <laughs> All right. Ashley. Ashley. Aren't you sad saying goodbye to your friends? Those aren't really friends. Nah. <laughs> They're not friends. I know I'll see them again. Okay. Plus, we sure. weren't that close anyway. Yes, that's no. right. <laughs> I've only known them for like a day. Let's grab Jessica and your friends sometime, and we can all go camping together. Yeah, awesome. No, that sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> but, Dad, uh... When we do... Yeah. I know, I know. No work. I remember to bring the charcoal. Oh, <laughs> oh perfect. It all comes full circle. <laughs> That's so... Oh. Full circle. Wow. <laughs> Would you look at that? Oh, the tower circle. that What's-His-Name fell out of. Uh, uh Dan Crusade. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh. Uh, all right. Hey, ending cinematic, dude. All I right. love to see it. I love it. Love it. I love it so much. I hope another shadow person doesn't steal my bag on the way back. Alright, cool pop! I love cool pop! Did we get all the cool pops? Probably not. Nah, probably not. But <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I guess those cans will fester forever. We like got a ton of them and never recycled them. 
It would be great because we didn't collect all the cool pop cans. This whole forest got demolished and everything yeah. was polluted. The lake was never truly fixed. You did not collect enough cool yeah. pop plans. Nope. Cans. Bye, Dad. I'm sorry. The and lake's the, polluted forever now. And their future refused to change. Future never changed. Or never changed. Ri- right, starring Dicker. Richard Robbins as Richard Robbins. Yeah. Princess. Woof. What? Matthew Crusoe. Hey. Elizabeth Alfred. Ciao. Rex Alfred. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Tommy Harrison. My dude. Bob oh, Fox. Hey, you go get some, get some burgers. Hey. <laughs> Janet Rice. Uh, Ashley. Sam Hillman. Hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> Dan the Man Maxwell. Yeehaw! This is a mermaid statue. <laughs> oh, just drinking cool pop. Craig Davis. This hey. is this is a this is a map behind me. I guess or something. I don't know. Sophia Callahan. I'm evil. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I never saw charges. Gina Barnes. Yeah. Mike Tyler. Oh hey baby. <laughs> Uh, Charlotte Graham, Ms. Graham. My and family's back. Woohoo! <laughs> Ryan Gray. Oh, I should have died. Dante himself. Mm, not in prison. Jessica Robbins. We saw her for like two, two seconds. seconds. Literally. Yo! I'm Yo! A- <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Robbins up in here! Uh, Kelly Crusoe, Mike Crusoe, they're both dead, probably. Judd Fitzgerald, also dead. Lucy Graham, I don't I, I do like that this is treating it like actual Benjamin credits. Graham, yeah. Benjamin Graham, Gilbert Moss. Oh, the Moss Man. The Moss Man himself. And, and yours truly... Uh, say over Robbins first. Oh. Mom! Oh. That's cute. Yeah, that's very cute. What about... She kind of looks like that woman from Silent Hill, too. Like, the one you went me in the graveyard a little bit. Oh, um... Uh, the one that they're goofing on for looking weird in the remake. And that's it? Yeah. Ah, well, I don't know why I'm blanking on her name at the moment. Yeah, so... Uh, Look at that. That was awesome. So we finished this very promptly. Yeah, it only took us, like, 30... Three months. 30 hours. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Um, so, uh, well, let's, let's go round table here. Um... I would say I like this game a lot. The story was fun, and I like the I like the weird ghost pull <laughs> during the middle oh, with yeah, Matt's like, dude. dead sister. So they had to have one ghost in this. Yeah, every every game's gotta have a ghost. So I played both the originals, which is obviously this one, and the original, which is another code or trace memory. And yeah. then um, the and I, I played the two new, the new ones as the well. Remakes, or not um, remakes, and but, they actually do know, make yeah. some some minor changes to story. Mm-hmm. Um, and the whole ending is completely different. Like char- some characters, just like stories, are a little bit different in the. New they part. don't even look the same. The characters. I think. Some of them. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think There's that. Um, like aged up or different. They like completely or... changed the yeah. character designs. Like oh, for yeah. me, like I think it's a great way to experience. The new ones are a great way to experience this, this story for these. But there, there, uh, there are some changes that are so drastically different that I would say it's like a whole new experience. You still do need to really play them both separately. But yeah, yeah. they're both incredible. I think that these two are like some of the best narrative games from like the DS and Wii era. And oh, I think yeah. and I think the two new ones that came out this year are some of the best narrative story. It's the na- best narrative story of the whole year in my opinion. I think um, it's a g- fantastic game. It's my game of the year as of right now. And first party. Yeah. I, I love it. it. Which is odd. Yeah. But, uh, how would you compare this to like, I don't know, like 999? Um, I think it's on the same level. I mean like obviously 999 is a lot darker. Uh, right. It's very much about. Well, this does have like child. This this this, 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 this this game's more like uh, like Hotel Dusk, where it's like oh, that's a good kind way of its yeah. own thing. It's so like different. These, I feel like the characters in this are like so unique, even in the new ones. Like like they're, it's just such a beautiful story, beautiful world, and I just I love this series so much, and I'm glad that like that these are available for people that don't have in, in some right. capacity. Oh, and not just like a because the only way to, like unless you yeah. get a pal Wii and a physical copy, the only way to play this is to emulate. Uh, our boy Reggie fils did not think this was worth bringing to the United States. Yeah, but, but he's too busy playing Animal Crossing New Leaf on his 3DS. Yeah. But Game Party 1 through 6 deserve to be on the Wii, but not oh, this. Oh, well, obviously. Because and babies. Satoru Iwata, that's what's up. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, uh, like I love that Re- like Reggie fils was like, if it's not fun, why bother? So he's like, let's not bother releasing this. Let's, it's not fun. Or Disaster Day of Crisis. I mean, that sucks. 
because Dead Mass or Dead Crisis. This is so good. This is one of my. This is like in my top ten Wii games ever. I love this. It's game. awesome. I love yeah. this game. I like it too. It was fun going through this, uh, and um, I think honestly we all love the voice acting stuff. I think we probably got an S rank. Ashley. Ooh. Oh my there God. There we go, baby. <laughs> yeah. Starring. That's all she learned how to play. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm getting smoke on the water. Uh, I'm smoke <laughs> on the water. I almost got smoke I, on the water. I will now play uh, her. <laughs> if you plugged away and watched all of our episodes of this, uh, much we, appreciated. We appreciate uh, you. You're, you're a legend. Um, Thank you. Yeah. And if you want to play this, you should definitely go through it. Um, Emulate if, it. If not, play play the new ones. Like, go make yeah. your own opinions of this game. It's such a great experience. Um, yeah. Wh whether old or the new ones, just go play them. They're great. And uh, yeah. probably, like, a lot of stuff we didn't see, too, I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh, for yeah. sure. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, So, yeah, um, definitely And then there's that. also New Game Plus stuff that gets added in. Actually, I was looking at it. Is there a New Game yeah. Plus stuff? Yeah. Um, so, if you beat the game and play it on New Game Plus... Okay. Um, you can hold, pre hold A and B, and you can actually skip text now. Um, oh, okay. Richard will send Ashley messages about Ju Lake Juliet throughout the game that you don't get in the first playthrough. Some puzzles have different solutions. Oh. Um, Kelly's doll is now a ninja, and you can see a dragon at the top of the clock tower. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, so there's a couple of little weird things that you kind of find. Yeah, out. little like side little things yeah. there. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, this was a really awesome game. Uh, thanks for joining us for this one uh, yeah. all the way through if you did. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we will see you guys next time for Silent Hill. So yeah. looking forward to joining you for and that one. some other spooky games along the way. Yeah, we'll probably play some spooky games coming into the fall season. So look forward to some other random ones as well. And, so And go play another, another Code Recollection. Do it. Yeah. You won't regret it. All right. See Bye. ya. Peace.